Welcome back, folks. My next guest is one of the few people who can list Daily Show correspondent and Fox News host on their resume. Please welcome Tom Shalhoub. Hey, man, good to see you again. Come on up. Now, let me... Let, let us explain to the people out here what I mean by that is that you and I... Uh, are in a very elite group. We worked for The Daily Show before Jon Stewart. The Daily Show. It was just called The Daily Show, yeah. exactly. Yeah, with, with Craig Kilborn. Craig Kilborn, exactly, uh, right that. Heard Those, of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are no, like, there are, I don't believe there are any existing tapes of that show. Because we've actually tried to get them, and like there's 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 nothing. I think I don't they have just, anything. They ground up those old tapes yeah. and use them to fill in like children's playgrounds or something yeah. like yes. that. Yeah. But you, I used to learn from you because you were you were the actually you were the new guy. Remember when they called you the new guy? Yeah, it was uh, Brian Unger, uh, uh, A. Whitney Brown, Beth, Beth Littleford, Littleford. Yes. and then I was the new guy. Yes, but I learned from you because you had a way of interviewing people. You would gain their trust so well. I mean, and they shouldn't have trusted you, no. but you know. <laughs> But you know why? Because they shouldn't trust anyone in the press. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, because it's all about getting your story, you know, and the press just lacks, you know, the press latches on uh, uh, to you like a lamprey and sucks and sucks and sucks until your soul is dry as a crouton. Yes. <laughs> they have to. they got to be able to tell the story. But they knew it. They knew they were going into... They knew they were going to be made fun of, but their, their desire to be on TV always trumped their desire not to look like a jerk, you know? Right, well, the camera lobotomizes anything it points at. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> In my opinion. So, so we both started at The Daily Show. I'm here. Uh, you went to Fox News. Um, we're like the bizarro twins. Yes. Of, it's like from we're, those early days. Like we're superheroes. Mm -hmm. but wait, who's the evil one, though? Am I the evil one? I'm, in, I'm incapable of growing a goatee, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not the evil one, but you're the conservative one. Yes, yes. I'm cons well, more than you, I would think. I yeah, think. probably in most ways. Yeah, yeah, in most ways. I don't know sure if I would like uh, if I if if my work would play on Fox News. Did you enjoy? Like you did, you did Red Eye. Was that hard to do comedy on like at like one to four o'clock in the morning on Fox News? It was great. I mean, it was horsing around. I don't really do satire. We just kind of talk about the news and we try to laugh about it. Mm -hmm. It was always supposed to be like bar conversation. Did you and get to drink? Yeah, no, we didn't get to drink. That makes bar conversation much more interesting. I know. <laughs> well, you have a book now. Yes. Uh, it is called uh, Mean Dads for a Better America, The Generous Rewards of an Old-Fashioned Childhood. Okay, so uh, what, what, kind of your, what kind of childhood did you have? Like, uh, Traditional. What, Catholic. What? Northeast Catholic. Oh, same thing as uh, Michael Douglas Keaton. Where... <laughs> Yeah, earlier. So, uh, uh, you know how many brothers and sisters? Any, like... uh, well, there's five of us. Okay, that's there, healthy. There was a brother, there was three sisters. Yeah. Uh, but Where'd all the you fall? Were... I was the fourth of five. Okay. And uh, so it was nice. It was a great uh, gr mm -hmm. growing up. We were scared, though. We were scared of, that's why I say mean dads. It's tongue in cheek, because me and my brother were, you know, we were afraid of the man. Mm -hmm. He would wake us up with his breathing. <laughs> Saturday morning, he'd what? wake us up. What do you mean? <sighs> Because he would literally just crouch over you and breathe? He would just breathe, yes. He had this breath, and we would That's wake like up. That's like what a wolf does. It was like... My dad used to go down the hall, bang the doors open, and say, get up, get up, the world's waiting for you with a club. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah. But we turned out okay. That's what I'm saying. It's, I don't know. It I don't worked know. out. Time will tell. Yeah. Time will tell. Do you have kids of your own? Yes, I have two daughters. And are you, are you uh, uh, lovingly mean to them? I am. I'm trying to be a mean dad, but it's hard. It's hard to be a mean dad today. Love gets in the way. It does. Love gets in the way of meanness, damn it. It does. But, I mean, I try to bring a little of my dad. I'm not going to be like is him. Is your father still with us? He is still with us. Okay. He's in the desert. He's probably watching us now. <laughs> he sounds like a prophet. <laughs> I, think, I think he would like that description. Okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, so how have you done the, the, the mean dad stuff? I'm trying to be a little bit more like my dad. Like I said, he was like Darth Vader with a Boston accent. But, mm -hmm. you know, I'm the work it out dad. Like when my kids, you know, we had to work everything out. We had, we had, we were strict, we had strict disciplinarian parents, but most of our life was spent outside mm -hmm. playing with kids. We didn't have parents. You could not outwards. stay inside. No. You had to go outside. Yes. So I want my kids to work it out. They come crying to me, oh, so-and-so picked on me. I say, go work it out. Because that's what my parents said. Go work it out. My mother used to say, hit him back. 
you know, like, there was a bully in my neighborhood. She said, go punch him back. So I punched him back. Did that work? No, he beat me up. But... <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think I felt good about it. I felt like I stood up for myself. Sure. Yeah. Violence is the answer. Yeah, well, sometimes. <laughs> that's the... That's, that's the... That's what moms usually tell their sons. <laughs> Well, congratulations on the book. Thank it you. It is called Mean Dads for a Better America. It's available now. The man is Tom Shulu, everybody, from The Daily Show.